Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I want to carve the ear. Before I started to carve I draw the ear and I do this with two squares above each other and here I draw my middle line and I have the middle point and I draw on the upper square a circle in this lower quarter of the square I draw a little circle and I draw this line and now I have the earlobes. With this construction I can draw easy the auricle and the helix would run inside the auricle and I give in some shading and now I uh, would like to, the, to draw the ear from the front. In the next step and with this shading you can mold the ear it's the simplest way to do it. Now my middle line, the upper square with the circle and this lower square with this little quarter, the middle line, the first square and this symbolizes the second square and now one and half quarter is this corner. or this edge. Sorry for my English. Yeah, maybe you can do it better. It's a very simple construction and now I want to draw the ear from the front and you can see it isn't boring. You have three separate forms and if you can make a bit shading you can mold the ear on the paper and it's here interesting and the inside helix is a bit higher than the outside helix the highest point is on the eyebrow and the lowest point is on the nose from the ear from the front I work with plastiline which remains soft and I started with the R wrinkle now you can see you have a separate form between the skull and the helix the helix runs inside the auricle and I use my modular wood and just press inside. For this natural impact I press in the deepness and I work with this modular wood and yeah, for this natural impact you have to go in the deepness. Yeah, actually I don't remove material, I build up material and I press with the modular woods. And this is the approach of the cartilage. Now I show how I use the chisels. I started with this sweep number 7, 50 millimeters, and you can see I use it upside down and right around, and I can work yeah, many with this gouge 10 millimeters and you see the three forms and the inside helix goes a bit higher and now it is very easy to draw the ear on every piece of wood um, if you train it with this construction and now I started with my chisel number 7 50 millimeters and with this cut I started to slope the ear to the head and make this surface slope to the head and I do this with the straight chisel to so chisel 60 millimeters and yes yeah, now I can use this chisel marvelous upside down and right around but be careful how you can see it upside down and right around it's very nice and useful and now I walk on the inside helix what came out and it's a bit higher than the outside helix and I can use marvelous these chisels upside down and now I have my construction how you can see it I draw it 
and therefore I made this training to draw it that I know where is which shape and I go inside with a with the small deep gouge and here this was a gouge 10 millimeters and I cut on the highest point of the helix what runs inside of the auricle and I cut the material from the auricle outside with these gouges and this was a gouge 20 millimeters but mainly I work with this 10 millimeter deep gouge and it's it's a very helpful tool for this yeah, complicated works and here I go in the deepness for this natural impact and you can shape a bit with, uh, yeah, again upside down with these chisels and I work step by step and go a bit deeper and use these smaller gouges, the 6 millimeter gouge and I go a bit deeper and when I am outside safe I cut back and now it's still coming a little summary. I am now at my ear. If I take my sweep number 8, 13 millimeters now, I can lay it very nicely on the shape from the helix. Upside down again. I just have to note the grain on this point. You can see it. I just have to note the grain and if that does not work with a gouge I can use a straight chisel. I cut from the other direction and there are difficult places where the grain changes. I try to use their tools with a good fit and I walk in the direction with the grain. That's a difficult areas. It is actually advisable to rasp such like walks. I want to undercut, so I have to save the helix and I may nothing more cut off. And again, I have to note the grain. In the auricle I can very nicely let run the gouge inside. By this small round shapes it is advice able to use the tools upside down and now I really would like to exploit the shape of the tool for better results. Then you win good impressions. This tenseness in the shape. And also here I make use of it. And also here I make use of it. I like to use the shape of the tools. And by this lobe I would like to cut off some material. I can use therefore a straight chisel or again a sweep number three or number four sixteen millimeters and I use it again upside down. On this point started the cartilage which builds the f form of the ear. On this area I make a little cut with my gouge 20 millimeters to uh, suggest a form between the earlobe and the cartilage because the earlobe isn't any cartilage and it's a soft form. On this edge I use my carving knife to broke this edge and made it a bit softer. If I want to have this natural impact I have to undercut the helix on this area and here I want to show this form truths and I want to show that this both forms run 
runs into each other and show me this form truth that are important. Yeah, in this pit I want to cut a bit inside and work more and more. In this video I just showed you the systematic from the first steps to build the ear, to construct the ear and maybe in another video I cut a bit cleaner and work um, more in the, in the details and made it more exactly. Thanks for watching. If you like the content you can give me a thumbs up. You can share the video with your friends and you can subscribe to the channel and maybe we see us in a new video. I wish you all the best for your works. Goodbye.